Dear fellow scholars, this is Two Minute Papers with Károly Zsolnai Fehér. In a previous episode, we discussed the technique where we could specify a low-quality image of a test subject and a photo of a different person. What happened then is that the algorithm transformed our test subject into that pose. With another algorithm, we can transfer our facial gestures onto a different target subject. And this new method does something completely different. Here, we can copy a full body movement from a video and transfer it onto a target person. This way, we can appear to be playing tennis, baseball, or finally, be able to perform a hundred chin-ups. Well, at least on Instagram. Now, look here. Up here you see the target poses and on the left, the target subjects. And between them, we see the output of this algorithm with the target subjects taking these poses. As you see, the algorithm is quite consistent in a sense that during walking, we often encounter the same pose, which results in a very similar image. That's exactly the kind of consistency that we are looking for. Remarkably, this algorithm is also able to synthesize angles of these target subjects that it hadn't seen before. For instance, the backside of this person was never shown to the algorithm and it correctly guesses interesting details like the belt of this character to continue around the waist. Really cool, I love it. We can also put these characters in a virtual environment and animate them there. Now, this work, like most papers that explore something completely new, is raw and experimental. Now, clearly there are issues with the occlusions, flickering, and the silhouettes of the characters give the trick away. Anyone looking at this footage can tell in a second that it is not real. The reason I am so excited about this is that now we finally see that this is a viable concept and it will provide fertile grounds for new follow-up research works to be improved upon. Two more papers down the line, it will probably work in HD and look significantly better. Just imagine how amazing that would be for movies, computer games, and telepresence applications. Sign me up! And computer graphics research has a vast body of papers on how to illuminate these characters to appear as if they were really there in this environment. Will this be done with computer graphics or through AI? I am really keen to see how these fields will come together to solve such a challenging problem. What a time to be alive! Thanks for watching and for your generous support, and I'll see you next time!